Hi, everybody. I've gotten a bunch of emails about this ESPA system that Futaba has um, that is part of the um, T18SZ um, transmitter I bought. And um, I wanted to try to really dumb this down and make it simplistic. I know there's some pretty high-end um, videos on the uh, Internet right now about this system, but I just wanted to kind of share my take on the system and why I think it's uh, absolutely fabulous. So what I want to show here is I basically drone, let's say this is the receiver, okay, that has SBUS. One of the things in two of the emails I got is no one's held this receiver in their hand, okay? And they think the receiver only has SBUS coming out of it and you can't use standard servos and that's not true. So what I want to try to do here is illustrate that these green magnets are going to be standard servos, okay? that in there kind of awkward reaching for it that way and so I've got let's just say um, my aircraft's got uh, two aileron servos two elevator servos and a rudder servo and the um, electronic speed control or throttle well the throttle would be on a servo but if it's an electronic speed control it would be a channel you're just going to come straight out of the channels to these because there are eight channels on my receiver that are standard servo channels okay so now let's say that you had more servos like I do on the C130 so what I what I'm doing on the C130 is I'm coming out of the S bus and coming down here and if I want to I already own a whole bunch of standard servos not S bus servos but standard servos so now let's say down here I have a couple of more servos And I want to run them from S bus. Another email I got is somebody says I can't afford to buy all the S bus servos. You don't have to buy the S bus servos. You just need to buy this uh, decoder. It's an SBD one. I wrote it down. Whoops, I forgot to write it down. Um, SBD. These are all telemetry things. I'll talk about in a minute. The SBD one is a basically an encoder that takes S bus uh, data communication and turns it into the regular digital servo communication so what you'll end up having is right here you'll have an SBD one and you'll run that to your servos now another uh, thing that I got an email about is you can make these any channel you want and, and the way you make this SBD one any channel you want is you got a little channel um, changer here you plug this in you're going to use this little uh, micro screwdriver to turn it to the channel you want and depending on if the lights blinking one two or three times it's going to tell you which one of these you put it in so one of the emails says you know I've got an airplane that might have more than 16 servos you can have as many servos as you want with S bus okay I could make this all channel 9 my C-130 has 10 servos on the flaps and if I wanted to make those all one ch flap channel I would have just dialed all these into that one channel and it would show up on the radio as that one channel so the SBD1 is what converts S bus to a regular um, servo communication okay so now let's say these were um, not standard servos but let's use uh, yellow these are S bus servos okay so if these were S bus servos essentially you're going to run to a hub or like a Y um, and you are going to just plug it directly in the really cool thing about the S bus servo is and I'm going to be doing this on my MSL if you've been to uh, some of the CEPHs the last seven years you've seen my uh, 197 inch vintage airplane that weighs about 67 pounds uh, called the MSL or the 1919 vintage aircraft a lot of um, naysayers said originally a the plane would never fly with the watts that it was powered by but everybody says, look, with those little servos you got on it, Damon, it's never going to fly right. Well, the servos weren't little. They were pretty high-torque servos, but I also have all of my flying surfaces balanced. Okay, so the neat thing about the S-Bus servo is, though, once I convert to it, I'll actually be able to read what the um, um, voltage draw is on those servos, and I'll really start to figure out if I need to beef up the side, the number of servos on each flight service, uh, flying service surface. 
So um, it's really late right now, guys. I'm I'm sorry. Everybody asleep upstairs. I've just got the dogs down here with me, and it's the only time I get to make videos is if it's late at night. So um, during the work week. Um, so the ESPA servos also have a thing called soft start, and what's really neat about it is if you've got an airplane where a lot of your flight uh, flying surfaces will droop when the power is off because they're big flying surfaces, or you just don't want everything jerking to exactly to home instantly, you can program each ESPA servo to basically go through a sequence of all of them finding um, homing their um, uh, neutral point when you turn on the uh, aircraft. Uh, plus, you can do the speed. You can you can do all kinds of cool things with us, us, us bus servos. So if my funds allow it, which I think they will, I'm by Ceph this year. I'm going to convert um, my entire MSL to S bus, okay, uh, servos. So um, so keep in mind on the C130. I got an email saying, how can you depend uh, have that entire aircraft depend? on one communication line what if the wire breaks or something well first of all i've never had um a wire go bad now where i plug in and out a, a a wing a thousand times i might have had one wear out i don't remember but I, i've never had any of these uh servo wires fail I, i've pinched one one time when i put a wing on and damaged it but i knew it as soon as i turned on the radio however you can still use these six or eight or however many channels you want directly out of the receiver. So on the C-130, I'm still going to have what I call hardwired direct servos into my regular channels. And S-Bus is going to be for all the systems like landing gears, flaps, lights, non-essential things. I mean, I'll have two motors on it, but I'll have another two motors that are hardwired. So even if the whole S-Bus system went down, my airplane's not going to crash. But I want to stress, there are $30,000 jets out there flying on, on S-Bus. Um, I'm not afraid at all to put the entire aircraft on an S-Bus. I'm just not. So, now, here's, what, here's a really cool part of S-Bus. And, and, and this just blows my mind. And hopefully I can depict this right. But let's say... Um, let, let's just say you've got all your servos that are hardwired or not. You come down here, and let's say you're running out to an SBD-1. You're coming down here. You're going to another SBD-1. Uh, let's say you've got your S-Bus servos, and then you want some telemetry. And this is what I find extremely cool, uh, especially for an electric pilot. My C-130 has all electric landing gear, and I'm nervous about how fast that battery will run down. So basically, if you buy an SPS-01V, as in Volt or Victor, and I'm going to call this red, and I hope you can see this. I hope it didn't get too low on you. But basically, this will just plug in, which this is a SBS dash ov1 right here it just plugs right into your s bus okay your wire is going to go to your flight pack or what you want to measure standard out of the receiver i'm using is an extra port for an external battery so that external battery this is the battery that will power my lightning gear on my c130 so what's going to be really neat is that just by plugging in some telemetry here into the s bus what I call circuit, it automatically will show up in the telemetry on the radio. So if you want to um, do the temp, the RPM, the altitude, GPS, and voltage, all you have to do is buy the little module or little uh, device, plug it into anywhere on the S bus, and it will automatically come up on here. So what I'm going to do here, and hopefully you can see this, but when I just turn on my radio, right here you'll see the RX an external is showing nothing right now. When I turn on my receiver, it's now telling you that I have six point, uh, whatever that says, 6.7 volts. I can't see it right now. And it shows you 11.9 or 11 point something. Well, that's the voltage for my landing gear. <clears throat> okay, now, if I just tap this button one time, I now see my receiver pack 
my landing gear uh, power, and then I see my flight pack voltage. Okay. So what's really, really cool about this is that I will set on this screen when I fly, and I normally always have a spotter with me, okay, when I fly my big airplanes. So while I'm flying the C-130, he can glance down and say, hey, your flight packs are down to a certain voltage. I can set alarms on here so that they also go off and tell me when I hit a targeted voltage that it's really time to land. So this is an unbelievable um, it's so easy to set this telemetry up on this radio. So I don't want to take a lot of time in this video. I just wanted to kind of share with you some of the simplistic ways that SBUS works for just my fellow uh, 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 fans, uh, friends, people who you know watch my YouTube. Because I, I, I think I've gotten about 11 emails or 12 emails just about me buying this radio uh, with people saying, you know, it's... It, it, to me, it just seems complicated. Or they say they go to the uh, uh, Tower Hobby and they read about it and, and they don't get a sense of how easy it is to program. Okay? So, um, as almost all of you know, um, uh, Tower is about the only place to go to get really good customer service and really good prices. So, um, that's, that's where I've been going to get all of this. Okay? So, um, and I'm not knocking the local ho uh, hobby shop. Please support your local hobby shop, okay? It's just for somebody like me that doesn't have a lot of time, it was just much easier to order all this stuff, and, and it was there when I got back from being on the road. So, <clears throat> receiver, you have your normal channels and S-Bus. You have S-Bus um, servos. You have standard servos, and you can have telemetry. I don't know what other radio that is this easy to program um, that is out there. Um, not saying it's not out there. I'm just saying this has been just an absolute piece of cake. I think I've had this radio two and a half, three weeks, and I've got it a hundred percent figured out. So I hope you enjoy my videos. And I hope this one was really a uh, help to you about understanding S bus and just its absolute simplicity. Uh, for the C one thirty, I've actually made it complicated because I'm, uh, I have 24 servos in it, and I have lights. I have um, the electric landing gear with the PLCs on the electric landing gear. I have so much going on in that that um, if I would have designed the airplane initially, knowing I would use S-Bus, I probably would have went with all S-Bus servos uh, and just made it a lot more simpler as far as where all the wiring is in the airplane. So... I hope you all have a great day uh, or evening and uh, or morning whenever you watch this. And uh, uh, thanks for watching. Remember, you can always email me at either through my, uh, you can reach out to me through my Facebook or email me through my um, uh, YouTube. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks for watching my videos.